Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Billy Hoya. I'm one of the librarians here at Lillestar North Harris Library. And today I am going to be just uh, walking you through OpenShot Video Editor. OpenShot Video Editor, ugh. OpenShot Video Editor is a free open source video editing software. It has a setup uh, very similar to if you've ever used uh, Adobe Premiere or um, iMovie, it kind of looks like that. Uh, so we're going to go through and do a few things here just so you can uh, see how to do that. Um, this, uh, this is actually a companion to a guide that um, we did uh, showing you how to use OpenShot. So if you'd rather read something about OpenShot than actually watch a video, you can. Uh, the, the link to the, the guide is in the... Um, the uh, description there of the video. So let's go on and get started. Uh, I have OpenShot open here, uh, and this is what it'll look like when you first uh, open up the, uh, the uh, program here. So over here to uh, the left, you see a video preview. So that just gives you a preview of uh, what you're seeing as you edit. Over here, we have um, these, this little tab area. So right now, this is project files. As you import videos in, this is where they're gonna show up. Uh, we have transitions, so if you need a transition effect, uh, we have that in there. And then you have uh, just effects that you can apply to the different videos here. Um, down here is the timeline, so you can see uh, there's several different tracks. Um, these work just like if you've ever used um, a program like Photoshop or uh, um, GIMP, uh, the same way that, or any sort of like layering graphics program, this, uh, this works the same way as layers on, um, on one of those programs. So if you put a video here on track two and then you put a video above it on track three, unless you crop that or something like that, uh, it's gonna cover up track two. Um, there's different ways, again, you can crop video, so you can do like a little picture-in-picture -picture of something. You can also use uh, chroma key, so if you look here, there's actually a, uh, where is it, chroma key. So if you want, so for example, if you're, drop, if you're standing behind a green screen, uh, you can tell it to replace that green screen, and uh, if you have that video on track three, then whatever shows up, whatever's behind you will show up behind you on track two. Um, you'll see, uh, it'll make a little bit more sense here in just a second when we talk about uh, title cards and stuff like that. So right now this is in uh, the simplified view. Um, if you ever close a window, so like say you accidentally close this and you don't know how to get it back open again and you just want it to go back the way it was, if you go up here under views, uh, uh, view and then views, you'll see here simple view so you can click on that and that'll open up sort of the the default windows for those views. You can also go up here and you can click on advanced view and that gives you a little bit uh, different setup here, but I kind of like the, the simplified view here. So we're gonna go back to a simple view. All right, so let's import a video. Uh, I got a couple of videos here. Uh, I just did a little tour of the plants on my apartment uh, balcony here. So let's pull some of those videos in. To uh, pull videos in, all you have to do is click on this little uh, plus button here. So that'll let you import files. Uh, I'm gonna navigate to the tour of my garden here. And we've got this one and this one. Uh, just in case you don't know, if you need to select multiple videos, and this is good on a lot of different Windows programs and actually in a lot of different OSs. If you ever need to select multiple uh, files in a little open dialog like this, you can just hold down on your control um, on Mac OS, I think it's option, but in Linux and um, in uh, Windows, it's control. So you hold down that key, that lets you select uh, multiple uh, files to import. So we're gonna go on and import those. I'm gonna hit open here. As you can see, I have, uh, I did a little film of me introducing this and then uh, a couple of short videos here from some plants on my balcony. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look at one of these files. So we're going to drag this onto the timeline. So I'm going to do it just like this. And you can see it shows up down there and then it shows up on uh, our preview window here. 
let's go on and play this and, and just uh, take a listen to it and watch. Hi, my name is Billy Hoya, and today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of the plants on my apartment balcony. So, one more. Hi, my name is Billy Hoya, and today I'll be taking you on a tour of the plants on my apartment balcony. So you can see I made a little uh, mistake there. So I need to trim this video uh, a little bit. There are several different ways you can trim video in, uh, in OpenShot. So one of the ways is uh, if you go up here, so if you go to either side of a clip, you'll notice the lines make that little double arrow. And if you hold down on it, then you can shrink or expand the video as you need to. So that'll cut it out. Or so like if there's a little here you need to trim off, you can just take that little bit. Or maybe you cut something, but you want it back. You can uh, pull it like that and it'll show up there for you. Um, you can also cut using the playhead. So if you do this uh, like this, so you say you're playing along and you say right about here, I want to cut this video. I want to back it up just a little bit. I think this is... Hi. Yeah, so I'm going to back it up just a little bit here, right? Uh, so you can position the playhead where you want, and then you can hit uh, slice, and you can say which side you want to keep, left side, right side, or both sides. Uh, if you do uh, keep both sides, you'll see it slices like that, and so then you can take that other side and you can move it around to wherever you want. Maybe you want it earlier or later in the video or you can just delete it. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna hit delete. Um, you can also um, say keep left side or keep right side, it doesn't matter. Now, the only bad thing about uh, slicing video that way, I'm gonna put this uh, back so we can see this. Here we go. So I'm gonna put that back there. And let's, if you are layering some different videos, uh, if you've layered videos, uh, so, for example, I have this video here like that, uh, or maybe you have like a title card or something, whatever, or there's some other videos down here at a lower track. When you uh, position this head and then say slice all, it slices all. So I'm going to do this and I'll say uh, keep right side. So you can see it slices both of those tracks at the same time. Just something to, to watch out for there. I'm going to go on and control Z out of that. If you ever make a mistake, remember, ladies and gentlemen, Control Z on uh, PC and Windows, or uh, Command Z on Mac to undo whatever it was you just did. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this video for just a second here. Let's go back to this. Now, there's one more way that you can uh, cut, and that's by using these little uh, razor tools up here, right? And so you can go through. Um, it is a little weird. You can't cut like right on the playhead. So I'm going to go on and select the razor tool so I can show you. You can't get right on that playhead. Uh, you can get next to it. It's kind of aggravating. Um, but you can come in here and you can hit and you can just cut that up however many ways you want to. And then you can unselect razor and then you can see you can move each one of those parts around or you can delete those parts as you like. Now if you have, um, let me go on Control Z out of this one more time. There we go. So if you have a bunch of edits and you want to, maybe you want to use the razor tool to just go through them real quick, what you can do is you can actually, as Please, this is playing, uh, one more. you can hit the, the marker and it'll make a little marker there for you. So like that, right? So you can see it'll make a little marker. This is really nice. You can go back, you can actually use these little... Uh, pieces to go back to those uh, to those markers if you need to. But it's also nice because it kind of gives you uh, a place to, to cut so you can kind of see where you need to cut um, different things there if you use the markers. All right, uh, let's go on and control Z out of this one more time. And I'm gonna move, uh, let's go on, we're just gonna use the, the playhead. And let me get rid of these uh, markers here. I'm just gonna remove these markers like so, right click, remove. Uh, let's go on and do this one more time and see if I can find this. 
Now you'll notice, I do want to say something real quick. You'll notice that the video is being really choppy. Um, that's because of the way that OpenShot uh, does its uh, cache for uh, videos. Um, when you get to the finished product, you'll see we'll play the finished product here. Um, even though the video may be a little choppy here, it actually plays uh, really smooth when you get to that point. So let's go on and play this and see if we can find a little... Hi. Right about there. So I'm going to back this up just a little bit. Right about there. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to say slice. And I only want to keep that right side, so I'm going to go on and say right side, so it'll get rid of that for me. All right. So we've got that. So let's go on and play this. My Oop, actually, let's uh, move that up there. Hi, my name is Billy Hoya, and today I'll be taking you on a tour of the plants on my apartment balcony. Again, a little jittery because it is... Uh, and let's slice some of that. Well, actually, we'll leave it so we can, that'll make a nice tail for fading here. Um, so there's that. Let's go in here. Um, let's pull one of these videos down so that we can uh, mess around with it here. Um, so I'm going to pull this guy here. Actually, let's, uh, let's do this one. I'm going to do this one. This is a cool one. So we're going to... Um, just play this. This one's uh, an African violet. I love these guys. They have these really pretty uh, flowers on them. They come in different colors sometimes. You've got like this purple and violets and stuff like that. Um, so these are really cool. Now let's go on and pull the other video down. So I'm going to pull this one down here too. And then we'll move it over just a little bit. What's going in place? So, we can... so this one's actually my mom's. <laughs> this, this is from. So uh, after Harvey, this one was one of hers that she had on her front porch. I'm not going to make you listen to the whole story there, but we'll uh, we'll get back to that. You can listen to it at the end here. Now we can just take these clips and we can put them together like this, and you'll see they kind of snap together if you put them when you move them all to, together there. And then we can play it like this, right? This but you one's... can see it just kind of smash cuts uh, between, uh, just sort of jump cuts between the two uh, the clips there. If you want to make these clips uh, fade, it's actually really easy to do in OpenShot. So what you do is you just take a clip and you just push it a little bit on top of the other clip, and that'll automatically make a, a fade a crossfade uh, for the clip. So if that's all you really need to do, you can just lay these clips like that. And then let's go back here and we'll play. Uh, it's on my apartment balcony. This one's uh, an African violet. I love these guys. They have these really pretty uh, flowers. And if we move up to the next one here, let's just go on to the next one. Um, so so really, really this cool. one's actually my mom's. <laughs> So one thing that I noticed uh, with this, uh, the, uh, the African violent one, let's, uh, let's zoom in just a little bit so we can do a little bit more. Oop, that is not zooming in. There we go. So let's zoom in just a little bit so we can do a little bit more detailed work uh, on this guy here. Uh, I'm going to move this transition out of the way for just a second so we can mess with it here. Um, if you right click on this, uh, this clip, so you'll notice uh, right here in the crossfade, uh, I wasn't completely finished talking before uh, this, the audio from this other one started going. So what I'm going to do is right-click on this, uh, this uh, clip. I'm going to look up here where it says, um, we actually want volume. There we go. So and if you look down here, we're going to do um, into clip. We're going to do fade out slow. Or no, actually, we'll do... Uh, yeah, let's do fade out slow. No, we'll do fade out fast. There we go. So now, if I go back and I play this clip, you'll actually notice that this one so, so kind of fades out. Really, this one's actually my mom's. <laughs> this, this. Actually, let's do. Let's see if we can change this just a little bit more. So let's right click on this one more time. What do we have? Uh, volume. Uh, we're gonna.
we may, what I may do is actually move this just a little bit so that uh, the fade is a little bit. Uh, let's try that. So these are really cool. So this one's actually That's a little bit better. You can kind of mess around with this uh, as you want. Let me put this uh, fade back in here too. Let's just make sure that's working. Um, this one's... Yeah, that's doing fine. All right. Um, now let's say this is just the default fade, but let's say you want to uh, you want to make like a custom fade. You want to use one of the, the custom transitions that's up here. So to do that, it's uh, fairly easy. I'm going to take this one apart here. I'm going to get rid of that fade. Let's get, uh, let's see what crazy one we want to use. Let's use uh, these boxes. So you just drag this down on the timeline. And so you'll get this big box. And so what you have to do, adjust that box for how long you want the, the fade to last, right? And then drag this box so the front end of the box has to hit the end of the first clip like this and it'll snap in place and then that front part of the box has to hit the front part of uh, the clip that you're fading into so I'm going to take this and if you just push it in it should snap into place just like that and now if we did everything right we should have these are really cool so this one's a nice fade just like that so that's how you do uh, some of the different uh, transitions that they have. And they've got some really crazy transitions that you can kind of experiment with here. Um, let's go on and do, um, I'm not really gonna do too many effects here. Uh, the effects in OpenShot, uh, they're all right. Um, I kind of like the effects in Shotcut sh uh, a little bit better. Uh, but these are still some pretty cool effects that you can put on here. And the way you apply effects is you just uh, take one of these effects. So let's say we want to apply wave to this last clip here. Just drag it on there and you'll see it adds uh, the, uh, the clip there. I'm going to move this out of the way for just a second. For every, uh, for every um, effect that you put on there, you'll get one of these little, uh, a little uh, icon there just to let you know that an effect. So if I put a wave on there, and then I put uh, negative on there. Wait, did it do it? Hello. Let me try one more time. There it is. You see, it made that little icon there. If I put pixelate on there too, you'll see it comes up there too. Um, and if I want to get rid, say I, I make a mistake, I like I don't want pixelated on there. If you right click on that little icon and then select remove effect, that'll take uh, the effect off of there. Um, some effects, they just do their thing. Some effects have uh, properties to them. If you want to see some of the properties that an effect has, if you just uh, right-click on that little icon there and hit properties, you'll see, um, you'll see the, uh, the properties for that particular uh, effect on there as, uh, uh, in the little sidebar here. Um, and so you can come in, and there's different things. Uh, for Wave, you can change you know, different speed and, and stuff like that. Uh, let's go on and play this just so we can see what wave looks actually, like. This one's actually my mom's. That's kind of wave. This, this is from... Change these um, as you like. So uh, after just Harvey, like this one was one of her... I'm going to go on and get rid of uh, this uh, effect here. And I'm going to close the uh, property windows here since we're not really using it right now. Let's go on and put that transition back uh, where it was. And then let us continue on. Um, let's talk a little bit about doing uh, title cards here. So a uh, title card, let's say you want to put a little introduction here. Uh, what we can do is uh, go up here to title and under this little uh, menu right here, you can click title again. Huh, okay, <laughs> please ignore that. <laughs> um, so we have uh, some different uh, default titles to pick from. Uh, I'm just going to pick this one here. I like this one, clouds. So I'm going to pick this one. It gives you some uh, different things. You might want to give the, the title card just a name that you can uh, uh, make it e easy to find like that. And then you can come in here and you can change the text. And I'm going to say Billy's uh, Garden. And then I'm going to 
change that last one uh, by Billy Wyatt. Um, you can come in here if you want to change the font. You can change it to, um, I do not know why it's doing that. <laughs> uh, you can come in here and you can change the font to, to whatever you want. So let's just change this. I'm going to change it to Comic Sans here. The one time that it is appropriate to use Comic Sans. Oh, it's going to make me scroll all the way through this. Okay. Uh, there you are, Comic Sans. So we're going to change this to Comic Sans. Uh, and let's say, there you go. So that looks kind of nice. Uh, you can change the text color for, to whatever you want. Maybe you want red. You can hit red. There you go. Kind of nice. Um, background colors. So this has um, an alpha channel set up, so it's uh, transparent. Um, so if you do change the background color, it's going to affect that transparency. So um, just be aware of that. If you're, if you're just putting this title card out here, and you don't have a, a background, you don't want anything behind it, then you can just change the background color to whatever you want. Uh, something really cool, um, if you installed uh, Inkwell uh, on your computer, Inkwell is a free uh, open source uh, um, vector graphic, SVG, vector graphic <laughs> uh, um, uh, editing tool. Um, if you have um, uh, Inkwell already installed on your computer, you can hit that uh, use advanced editor and it'll actually launch uh, uh, Inkwell here. I mean Inkscape. Did I say Inkwell? I'm so sorry. I meant Inkscape. It'll launch uh, Inkscape here. And so you can go in here and you can actually uh, edit the card. So maybe you want to uh, make a star. We can go in here and we can make a little star and you can make it whatever color you want, just like that. You can add in your company logo, whatever else. And then when you get done, you can just go in here, you can close it, and it'll ask you if you want to save, and you can say save, and then it'll uh, take that and it'll put it into the program here. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, let's close without saving. Um, once you get your title card set up the way you want, let's go on and hit save. And if we go back here to project files, you'll actually see your title card show up here um, in uh, the, uh, the project files. Uh, let's put this title card at the front here. Um, so I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to make some room for this stuff here. So I'm going to do uh, control all like that. And I'm just going to move this out just, uh, let's see here. We just want a couple of seconds of this. So I'm going to move this, oop, control Z, control all. And then let's move this right in here. And so we're going to put that title card down in here. Now you notice it's a little big. Uh, we just want it really short. So what we're going to do is if you go to either side of this, you can pick it like that, and then you can just uh, shorten it up in there. And then we can take it and we can plunk it down in there. And then we can make it, and it should, it's not going to snap. Just like that. All right. And then if we play it, you can see we have our title card here, and it goes right in. Now, if I wanted to make this uh, fade just like before, let's take this out for a second. Uh, let's make this just a little bit bigger like that. And then we should be able to uh, lay this on top, and we may not want to do a fade. Yeah, so what we'll have to do is if we right-click on this, uh, one of the other ways you can tell it to fade is if you come in here and up here, it, we can pick, uh, oop, no, we want fade fast. So let's do uh, start of clip, uh, fade, fade in fast. All right. So let's see how that works. Hi. Yeah, that works pretty good. Um, now, you remember earlier I was telling you these title cards, they have a transparent uh, layer back behind here, right? Um, so that lets you uh, place, uh, so if you want an image back behind here, let's go, uh, let's go grab one real quick. I think I have a beaches image here and we'll just use that real quick. Let's see, it is, I thought I had, a... hmm. there it is. So I'm going to use the, I'm going to import this beach uh, picture here. I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it right down here on the lower track. 
And you see it uh, appears back here um, behind the title card. Pretty cool, huh? And then we have it fade in. Um, these don't have to be still images back here if you want to use uh, some video. So like, let's, um, let's go grab another video from my, uh, from my garden here. So we're going to do this. We're going to go to garden tour and let's take this one. So we're going to open that. We can actually take this video and we can put it right back behind here. And then when we hit play, you'll see the video so is actually playing back behind there. Uh, we don't want the audio playing because it'll play over the title card. We want the title card to be quiet. So if we right click on that clip and we go up here to volume, we can say entire clip and we can say we want volume level zero. And so that'll turn off the volume for that clip. Now, if we go back here and we play it again, it's quiet. Uh, we can go on, you should go on and trim this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this side and I'm going to just zoom it all the way in there, just so that uh, it's trimmed up a little bit. And then if we play it, you can see there's the video going behind our title card. Hi. Now, this Wait. is a nice introduction, but maybe I'd like uh, my name here. Someone says uh, Billy Hoyle Librarian or something like that. And what we can do is we can actually create another uh, a little uh, title card, an overlay, if you will. <laughs> that is a beautiful picture. I'm going to move it off that frame. There we go. <laughs> uh, so we can create a title card to lay over uh, that image there. Uh, to do that, we're going to go back here to title. We're going to pick title again. Let's go down here. I think I'm going to pick, there's one called tab, gray box tab. There we go. So I'm going to pick this guy here. Um, Billy's intro. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, um, Let's say Billy Hoya. And then for my subtitle, I'm going to put Librarian. Oops, I forgot how to spell Librarian for a second. Librarian. There we go. <laughs> librarian, yes. So uh, let's go on and hit. Uh, again, you can change the font. You can change the text color. Uh, be careful if you change that background color because it's going to change the whole slide's background color. And we actually want this one to be uh, transparent. And again, you can use the advanced editor for uh, Inkscape if you want to uh, edit this uh, slide at all. So let's go on and hit save. You'll see it automatically appear here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just drag that onto track three here. And we're going to line it up right about there. So now you can see if I push play. Hi, my name is Billy Hoya. There it is, right? Um, I'm going to move this over. So if I keep and playing today, this, I'll be taking you'll see. This title card oh, sticks around violet. here. So I'm going to change the size of that. I'm going to pull this over. I just want this up for a few seconds here. All right. So let's play push play again. And you'll see Hi. this thing just My sort of appears. I'd like it to fade in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is right click on that title card. I'm going to go up here to fade. And so I'm going to say start of clip, uh, fade fast. And then I'm going to say uh, fade end of clip, uh, fade, uh, fade out fast, right? And so let's go back here and play this one more time. Hi, my and you can see really now like it's uh, fading in today. and fading out pretty nice. All right. So uh, let's say we've got our completed project here. Oh, actually, I'm going to make this real quick. I'm just going to do this, uh, make this uh, fade out too, just so it looks nice. Uh, End of clip. And oop. Man. There we go. Hey, stop. So I'm going to do uh, end of clip, fade out slow. All right. So we've got our finished product project here. Uh, if you want to save this, maybe you know, you're not sure, you're working with a group, you might have to make some changes to this a little later on. Uh, let's go on and save this project. So we're going to go to File and then uh, save a project. I'm gonna go on and save this in our, oops, wrong one. <laughs> uh, let's save this in our open shot video here. And then I'm going to go and tour like that and hit save. And so you can come in here, 
and it will save. Uh, let me just show you this real quick. If we go here to open shot video, you'll see this is the actual file. And then here is where it uh, creates some different thumb, uh, thumbnails and uh, other different resources that it needs uh, while it's uh, editing your video. Uh, let's go back here. And I just want to check. It looks like this uh, so. fade may have come, came off. So I'm just going to reposition this fade real quick. I'm not sure why it did that. Did it work? There it goes. Let's just make sure this fade works uh, before we continue on here. So, so really cool. this one's actually... There we go. All right. So you have your finished product here. Let's go on and export some video. So if you go up here to File, and right here where it says uh, Export Project, we're going to select Export Video. And so it'll ask you where it wants to, to save it. We're just going to save it uh, in that same folder that I just created. Uh, with, I'm going to use Garden Tour here. Um, you can use the defaults. The defaults are usually good enough. Uh, if you're sending this like on, uh, if, if you do have like, if it's taking up, if you have a really long video and it's taking up too much space, you can kind of fiddle around here with uh, the quality uh, but I usually just leave it high. Um, and then you also have um, some different uh, video uh, profiles that you can have here too. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it set to uh, whatever the default was here. All right. Um, let's go up here. Again, there's some different, uh, you can uh, pick some different, uh, some different uh, encoding schemes here uh, if you just want. Uh, if you're using QuickTime, you can use uh, the QuickTime uh, movie container. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you want an uh, MPEG, you can do that too. Or if you want to do one of the other video encoding codecs, you can use one of those too. Um, but for the most part, MP4, you can use that. Um, they do have, uh, if you have a fancy computer like mine, you got a nice uh, video card or something like that, they do have... Uh, uh, some things that will let you um, actually use the video card to encode the video. And sometimes that helps it encode uh, a little bit faster. But uh, let's just go on and leave it the, the default here for right now. Again, you can come in here. Uh, there's some different options that you can uh, pick. If you just want audio only or video only, you can do that. If you want just a bunch of JPEGs, you can do that too. Um, you can come in here. There's some other uh, things that you can mess with here if you want. Uh, we really don't need to uh, mess with any of that, uh, though. So we'll just leave it all the same. All right. Uh, let's go on and hit uh, Export Video here. And so you'll see this down here. It's going to take it just a few minutes for it to uh, export. Um, I'm going to use uh, a magic wipe cut to uh, make this go a little bit faster. All right, so our video is finished. So we can go on and hit Done here. Uh, let's go on and take a look at that video. So I'm going to close this. Uh, let's go back here to the OpenShot video. And let's watch our finished video here. Hi, my name is Billy Hoya. And today, I'll be taking you on a tour of the plants on my apartment balcony. This one's uh, an African violet. I love these guys. They have these really pretty uh, flowers on them. They come in different colors sometimes. You got like this purple and violets and stuff like that. Um, so these are so really cool. This one's actually my mom's. <laughs> this, this is from, so uh, after Harvey, this one was one of hers that she had on her front porch. And uh, this guy, it was, I guess the pot that it was in was plastic and it, the pot, it, I guess it was just like overturned and out of the pot. So I took it home with me and I put it in this little clay pot and it's been going ever since. There you go. So you can see again, like I was saying, uh, the, uh, you know, when we were playing it in up here, uh, the audio was a little choppy because of, uh, how open shot does its, uh, video cache. Uh, but once we exported it, it came out okay. So that's just a little bit about how to use OpenShot Video Editor. Again, check out our guide. 
uh, we have a little bit more uh, in detail and I have a link to that in the video description there. All right.